Well, cisplatin is a chemotherapy agent that's used in the treatment of many childhood cancers. Um, it's estimated that in the United States alone, uh, every year over 2,000 children and teenagers are treated with cisplatin. Uh, it's been well known that it causes hearing loss in a proportion of patients. Um, younger patients are more at risk where the incidence may be 70 to even 100 percent in some subsets depending on the treatments. Uh, teenagers a little less but they still have other forms of hearing loss and ototoxicity including ringing in the ears for example. So it, it has a lot of impact. Um, I think one of the reasons hearing loss is so important in children, in very young children, is that it, it, it's not just the hearing loss but it impacts learning, uh, language acquisition, development, psychosocial development, uh, school function, and a whole host of, of things that impair quality of life, uh, both short and long term. It, it's really a devastating problem. Well, cisplatin, the damage is caused by the uh, chemotherapy itself and also uh, what are called uh, free radicals or superoxide ions that uh, damage the uh, uh, hearing apparatus in the uh, cochlea. So specifically, there's uh, damage of what's called the hair cells, um, and when those are uh, destroyed by those substances I mentioned, it, that's what re leads to the hearing loss. So sodium thiosulfate sulfate is a scavenger that uh, inactivates those damaging substances that are produced by the cisplatin. Um, and it's thought that the sodium thiosulfate, sulfate, when it's given intravenously, makes its way into the cochlea and actually circulates in the fluid there to prevent the uh, cisplatin and the other uh, ions that damage the hair cells from achieving that effect.